on. A University of Georgia vegetable horticulturist is searching for new squash varieties to help farmers improve the state squash industry. Yellow squash is predominantly grown in the south here in Georgia, and it's the second largest acreage. That's how much it is grown. Now, when growing this vegetable from a seed, squash takes 38 to 40 days to start fruiting. Once harvest season arrives, the plants are picked every other day. Now, Dr. Timothy Cooling's research crews from UGA harvest about three times a week and will have about 12 to 15 seasonal harvests. With each harvest, they're planning on capturing as much of the germ plasma as they can to build disease resistance and help reduce the number of sprays. With viruses and other issues, there are a lot of diseases that farmers can face when growing squash. Spraying has been fairly good because it's been reasonably dry, but uh, we've had some reports of uh, Phytophthora, which is a, a root rot in squash. It'll actually harm the plant. Um, and then in the fall, we have a lot of virus pressure here uh, because our insect pressure is so high. And so there's a wide range of diseases. Same, you know. According to the UGA Center for Agribusiness and Economic Development, squash accounted for 2.48% of Georgia's vegetable crop back in 2013 and was grown on over 4,500 acres.